Hey guys, hello. Um, time for another build video, like the second one for today, actually. Uh, so this time we talk about the no skill build. That's how I call it, because you don't need any skill to play this build. Um, it's basically the normal skill build. Just be lazy, stay in cover. Uh, if you want to, you can shoot a little with the capacitor, which has like kind of like nice damage if you want to. And you want to get your stacks up a little bit so your skills do more damage. So keep shooting every now and then, but you can also just like blind fire from cover. It doesn't matter. Uh, just get your hits done and get the damage buff up there. Uh, you can play this build like two ways, actually. And yes, I know I have uh, six skill TC on this build and I'm running technician. I'm just too lazy to reroll one to blue or to red or whatever. It doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't make a difference. That little bit more armor is not necessary and a little bit more damage uh, on a skill build, who gives a F, right? So waveform is the way to go for most people here, um, which is fine enough. I recently switched to like a Vyvern holster actually, because the inconsistency from the waveform here is like it stacks up to 30% weapon damage a skill damage for like one of your skills if it's like active and then it switches to the next one and then it switches back to the other one and then it switches back to the other one so it's it's kind of inconsistent skill damage that you have like one on one of your skills so i better go with the vivan holster here and have that 10 uh, percent skill damage up all the time on both of my skills so it doesn't matter um it does a little bit more damage like 20 percent more uh, but this Skill build has so much damage already, you don't need the extra skill damage there. So capacitor works like this. Uh, if you read through the talent here, um, shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack gains 15% skill damage after five seconds stacks decay one per second. So you actually get 40%, 40 times 1.5% skill damage. So that's uh, 60 if I, my mouse is not correct there, incorrect there. So 60% weapon da skill damage if you keep shooting enemies and you can see the stacks actually on the weapon on the side there you see like there's a zero zero and if you shoot an enemy it stacks up so you maybe want to stack up on an enemy that's like a mini tank or on legendary level mini tank dog or like a heavy maybe that is standing still so you can even like blind fire most of the hits are pretty accurate on this weapon so you can stack up pretty easy once the stacks are done pop your skills and let them do the rest and then basically just be lazy uh, just sit and wait. If you see like your stacks are dropping too low here, below 30, come out of the cover, shoot something, get the stacks up again, and just like wait for your skills to do the job. And this is like, yeah, the no skill build because there is no skill implemented here. Um, the skills do everything. You just sit and wait. It's um, boring. That's why I never made the radio video about it, uh, but people asked for it now um, because they wanted to know what is on that build. And I'm yeah, uh, kind of too lazy also like show it on stream a lot, like switching build and stuff. So just keep your stacks up every now and then just pop out of cover, shoot the enemies and the rest is done from the skills. And they have so much damage there. It's just insane. Like they shred heavies on legendary level even really, really quickly. And it's a lazy build to do, uh, like especially now that we have the uh, polarity as example up uh, in the global event at the moment. Uh, the skills ignore that completely. Uh, so you can basically use skill build there and just get done with it and be lazy in the cover. So uh, the build is uh, three times Empress International. Uh, it's two times Hana Yu for me here because one time Hana Yu gives you skill haste. The other, the second one gives you skill damage and the Vivan gives you also skill damage. Like I said, you can use the waveform here, which is kind of like the same skill damage and skill haste here. It's a little bit more skill haste, 2% more than the normal holster and you get the stacking here. The damage on the stacking is higher for the skill damage. It's just inconsistently switching between the skills. So you never really know when is the good time like to uh, get the drone on something. I don't know, it, it feels really weird. So recently I just switched that. Uh, second skill for me, a uh, weapon for me here is like the test subject. It has the perfect uh, in sync here. So you can also shoot with that weapon. If you don't have a capacitor, I would suggest you like use a test subject here because this is the weapon for you then that has the most damage. Um, quite nice one. So, and also grants like your skills 20% skill damage. Yeah, If you don't have a capacitor and you don't want to like shoot all the time to get the stacks up here, use a test subject, one bullet is enough and you have the, you have it active. Yeah, you get like uh, in sync there and which is only for the weapon damage obviously, but you also get the other skill up 
which is like um, for the 20% skill damage. It just doesn't last that long, so you have to like basically blind fire every now and then from the cover, get a hit, yeah, like refresh it every now and then when the skills are up. Test subject is a good replacement for the capacitor. And people told me that the capacitor is not be able to obtain any more from the summit. Usually it comes from the summit. Uh, you do five challenges in there and you get it as a guaranteed drop. But I'm not sure. Someone reported to me like uh, you can't get it anymore in the summit. I can test because I done the challenges already and I got it from there. So I'm not sure if you can find it or it doesn't apply on the summit anymore. Go count on, select target with the assault rifle, go for it. And it will drop like maybe, um, or you can get it from exotic caches too. You can also run count on for that, get the credits by exotic caches from the vendor, and you're also done for it. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to talk about this build here. Uh, technician EMP nade is also quite nice for like legendary. You can throw it on a mini tank or on a dog or something. It's a long lasting EMP, helps quite a bit for the team, and you should be fine. With this build, um, you could even attempt uh, running low, solo legendary there because your skills will tank most of the stuff there if it's not a shotgunner um, or a rusher or something. So, all right, that's about it for this build here. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see me live, you know that I'm streaming on Twitch, same name as on YouTube. If you like the video and you like the build maybe even, and <laughs> you really enjoy it, I don't, I don't know how you would do that, but yeah, give the video a thumbs up, helps me a lot. And I'll see you all next one. Have a good one until then. Bye-bye.